Have you ever had a relationship or a job or something that you were super excited about, that you were passionate about, that you loved being a part of? And then maybe in three days or three weeks or three months, maybe three years later, you woke up and that same thing that you once had passion and excitement for was boring and dull. Maybe you didn't even look forward to it anymore. If this has happened to you, I want to talk about it today because I think there's a couple simple ways we can overcome this. I believe it's our responsibility as men to do better every day, to learn from our mistakes, grow through our failures, and work to become the best that we can be. Last week, I shared with you guys a little bit from my vacation in the Cook Islands. And this week, what I want to do is share with you guys one more story, because when it happened, it really had a profound impact on me. And the first thing I thought of was sharing it with you guys. So it was our last day on the island, and Spence and I decided to do a boat trip of the lagoon. Down there, there was this incredibly beautiful lagoon, be different beaches and sandbars and islands. It was really incredible. And so we signed up for this boat tour and our host, the tour guide for the day, his name is Ali. Now this dude, he's a local Polynesian. He grew up on this island. And I got to tell you guys, he was full of life, right? He's laughing and dancing and cracking jokes. In fact, when we first got to the tour place, there was this like rinkety dink bus. I mean, this thing was tiny and small and had like some tarp on the roof. And he's talking and telling us a little bit about the trip. And he's like, now you guys see the bus. This bus is very small and there's a lot of you guys. And he's like, our bus over here could fit mm, maybe 50 Japanese, but only 10 Polynesians. We're big boys, right? And everybody started laughing. So we get on this bus, he takes us around the island. We get to the boat, we go on this incredible boat tour. I'll throw up a couple pictures so you guys can see. The lagoon was just incredible. The moral of the story is Ali. I mean, the boat trip was awesome. The, the island was beautiful, but what really made this boat trip so special for me was Ali. I mean, this guy was an incredible host. Like I said, he was laughing, dancing, making jokes. He got out the ukulele and him and his boys there singing freaking Bob Marley and, and like they served this incredible lunch. It was a beautiful experience. So at the end of the day, I went up to Ali and was like, brother, Thank you so much. Like you, the trip was great. It would have been great without you, but you really made this trip. Like you just, you're so full of life and energy. Like how long have you been doing this? And he's like, today's my first day. I'm like, excuse me? And he's like, well, let me explain. I've been doing this job for 10 years. But like most things in life, after doing this job for a while, it became boring and dull. And truthfully, I was kind of an arrogant asshole about it. People would come up to me and they would say, oh my God, you live in paradise. And he's like, I just brush it off. Yeah, I know. Like he didn't internalize it. He didn't actually accept it. He didn't see the beauty in his life because every single day he saw it. And brothers, this really struck me because this happens to all of us, doesn't it? Don't we all get habituated, right? You have a relationship and you're over the moon excited. You'll do anything you can for the love of your life. And then after three weeks, three months, three years, 30 years, whatever it is, right? Whatever the time frame is, it loses its luster. And now when she asks you to do something, you're like, I'm busy, you go do it. Or maybe you had a job that when you started the job, you were super fired up, you were excited, it was your dream job. And then three weeks, three months, three years, whatever it is, now it's a chore. Now you have to go to work instead of you get to go to work, right? The kids, you know, your son asks you, hey, let's go play catch. I'm busy, I'm busy, right? In life, we are all habituated to things. Everything becomes normal after a while. Doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. And unless we develop a mindset that keeps us focused and that keeps us in the moment, that gives us the perspective that we need, we're gonna get caught in that trap of taking things for granted. So Ali tells me, he goes, you know, I had to go on a trip to New Zealand for work. And he's like, I'd never been off the island before. And truthfully, I had no desire to go to New Zealand. But my boss was like, I need you to come to New Zealand with me. We need to go do this thing. And he goes, went to New Zealand, had an amazing time. But I'll tell you what, it, it wasn't Atataki. It wasn't the Cook Islands. Like, it was so different. It gave me perspective that I really do live in paradise. That this place is truly amazing that I am lucky to be born here and lucky to be able to do this boat trip and to provide these experiences every single day. And so now, instead of taking my job for granted, instead of taking my little island for granted, every day I wake up 
and I remind myself that today is my first day and I've got a whole bunch of new people that are viewing my island for the first time and I want to give them the best experience possible. And now when someone says, oh my gosh, you live in paradise, he looks at him and says, thank you because I do. Thank you for acknowledging the beauty of my island. I wanted to tell you this story today because I truly believe that we all have the opportunity to give ourselves this gift. The gift of appreciating what we have in our lives. Whether it's relationships, whether it's jobs, careers, family, environment, circumstances, whatever it is. Instead of seeing it as have to, we need to start seeing it as we get to, right? And maybe it's that mindset of today's my first day. Today is the first date that I've ever went on. Today is the first time that I get to play catch with my son. Whatever you need to do to remind yourself of the beauty that you have in your life, this week I wanna challenge you to find that perspective that's gonna give you the appreciation you need to be fully present in the moment and to love on who and what you have in your life. Because it's precious. And the truth is, as cliche as it might be, we don't know how long it's going to last. So brothers, I challenge you this week to get out there and to appreciate the little things. To have that mindset of today is the first day that I get to do whatever it is that you're going to do. If you do that, I promise you, you're going to appreciate more in life. And when you appreciate more, you have more to appreciate. It's a beautiful law. I'll see you guys next week.